Sarver, bro, what did you think was going to happen? Good news, everyone. Robert Sarver is finally being pushed out of the league. It only took 18 years, but thank God. And finally. On Wednesday, he announced that he has begun the process to sell both the NBA's Phoenix Suns and WNBA's Phoenix Mercury franchises. In a statement he wrote, he said, As a man of faith, I believe in atonement and the path to forgiveness. I expected that the commissioner's one-year suspension would provide the time for me to focus, make amends, and remove the personal controversy from the teams that I and so many fans love. But in our current unforgiving climate, it has become painfully clear that that is no longer possible. That whatever good I have done or could still do is outweighed by things I have said in the past. For those reasons, I am beginning the process of seeking buyers for the Suns and Mercury. I mean, come on. Just like in his weak at best apology where he didn't agree with the findings but reluctantly said sorry, this statement is no different. Right up front he tries to paint himself as the good guy hoping to take the next year to right his wrongs. Perhaps, maybe. That is, if his players like Chris Paul and maybe the minority owners had his back and chose to release statements supporting his newfound quest to better himself. FYI, they didn't. They all express resentment and disappointment when they learn how the NBA decided to weakly punish Sarver. I don't think there was one person who defended Sarver and that is the true testament of the character he is. Even in his statement now, he takes a swing at us saying we are the problem because we are unforgiving. Don't blame us for the man you are, Sarver. You should have known then as you should know now what is right and what is wrong. You thought you were untouchable. Nope, you're not. Your actions might have taken place in the past but you still have to deal with the consequences of your actions and your words now. I also don't agree with his assessment that we are truly unforgiving. Sure, we have our moments, but I think we are mostly forgiving. Can we be brutal? Absolutely, no doubt, but we can forgive you, Sarver. It just doesn't let you off the hook. Your suspension for one year and the fine for $10 million as your consequence was a mere slap on the hand. You should have been forced to sell both teams like Sterling had to. In fact, after the findings, Maybe before the findings, you should have just said, hey, I did screw up and perhaps I need to look inwards to myself and make the changes needed to be a better man. Therefore, to do what's right, I will sell the teams. Now that's the right thing to do. And I bet we the people would probably think, yeah, all right, he was wrong and admitted it and he is punishing himself. You probably would have earned some respect for making that decision more so than waiting for the NBA to drop its hammer. But it is what it is. He is selling and that's what's important here. He may be reluctant to sell, but he does know what's good for him, both him, the Mercury and the Suns. At the end of the day, it's a business and you must weed out the problems to keep the business running smoothly, even if it's you who is the problem. Good choice, Sarver. What are your thoughts? Let me know below if you think Sarver should sell the team or should have stuck it out. Alright, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you click that bell to get notifications for my next video. I will see you all next time.